Got a bunch of these little things here I need to bend. I've tried a couple of different methods. First, just trying to bend it in the vise and ended up with this very large radius I couldn't uh, get rid of. I tried a couple of different methods doing that and still ended up with a pretty large radius. That's obviously not the right approach. Um, don't worry about that center one. That's something I played with a little bit later, but um, was unsuccessful generally. So I tried the uh, technique of uh, cutting where you slice along the outside and then you weld fill. And, uh, you know, that uh, works with some... Uh, uh, that works pretty well. It uh, gave me kind of what I wanted, but it just seemed like a lot of extra work um, to get the bends that I needed. So um, welding also introduces some stresses in the material and weakens it at the point um, just actually next to the weld, right immediately next to the weld. So I'm not sure I'm really interested in all that. That doesn't suit me so well either. Uh, so I decided to try something a little bit different and make something with the press. And so I was able to accomplish something more like this. And this is what I really wanted to get in the first place. And uh, so let me just show you how I was able to accomplish that. I will do it with uh, these other two pieces to get them that way as well. Um, I started by marking them, but I have set up the jig now so that I don't need to mark them anymore. So out with the Sharpie and in with the square. This is the press setup now. I'm going to insert my part, slide it underneath the anvil there and nest it in there just where it needs to be. Got to eyeball this to roughly center um, in both directions and so we're going to center it in this uh, gap here. And we've got to make sure that it's square because if it's not square so we're going to use the uh, piece off a little square here. Put this in here. I'm going to set that against the part and then I'm going to push on this piece here. Again I'm going to eyeball that to center both directions. And once I get it set up the way I want, we'll start to jack. And I can feel things come in contact there. I need to double check that I'm going where I want it to be. And I'm not. So I will use that little square to get things all set up square. I will hold it with my hand as I jack with the other hand just slightly. I can feel the pressure now. It can start to go so I'm double checking that it's everything square, that I like its position. It's centered in those different places. You can see the part down in there. And now we will just jack this thing up and compress that piece using the vertical leg of the angle iron. And we can see it bending just beautifully. Now where do we stop? So I've been using this piece here as an eyeball to see, I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but we can see that it's getting really close to the right angle. I want to overshoot just a tiny bit. It looks like we're pretty close. Let me give it one more little push. There we go. I'm going to call that good. So there's one of our bends. I'm going to simply release the uh, jack pressure. And push the jack down by grabbing this fixture there. And when it gets down far enough, we will lock the jack in place so it doesn't go all the way down and keep us from having to pump up a bunch more next time. And we'll lift the anvil out, slide the part out, and voila. We have a pretty darn straight bend. It's right in the right place. It's the right 135 degree angle there. That's how we've done it. I'll just take it, stick it back in the other way. and pull our piece out. As we can see, that uh, worked out pretty darn well in both cases. That's the kind of bracket that we were looking for. Now, the idea of how to do this really came to me thinking about how they do things in production and looking at this 
part here and not being totally satisfied. I mean, yes, it's a good job. Yes, it does the job, but I just don't love it. So I got to thinking about it. How can I get that shape? How can I bend that shape? So I thought, well, you know, I've got these bars sitting there, some chunks that I have left over. Maybe I could fix them in some way that I could be able to push on that right there in the center. Well, what would I push on it with? And how far separated do those things need to be? Then I contemplated a piece of angle iron. Well, that is really stiff and strong, especially if I push straight down. I could push like that and get it right down in that groove between those two pieces. That might just do it. So how far should I set those two apart? Well, I wasn't sure, so I decided I'd just take a random guess and I put two of these together to make sure that they were nice and parallel. I clamped those then to the channel, which we'll see in just a second, and set up the bend tool so it would come down and contact like that. So I looked at my things that I had laying around and I welded just a couple of tack welds because I didn't want it to be permanent. This piece of angle iron to this other bar, the bar would then support the angle iron and be able to uh, take the loads of the press and uh, keep that in a vertical direction and make sure that it was nice and square and parallel and all that kind of stuff. In the end, this is what I ended up with. I have a set of clamps on the ends of these metal chunks that you see. I just clamped them with the very strong clamps on the piece of channel just as a base to kind of hold things. I set it up so that they have this gap here between them like we had talked about. I also made clamped these extra two pieces over here in such a way that when I set the piece in there they would be parallel. And that would keep it nice and straight. And then I decided I really needed one more piece to make it so that when I set this in here like this and pushed my bend, pushed for my bend I should say, that the bend would always be in the right distance. So this distance to the bend point is going to be the same now for all of the different pieces. It's actually uh, pretty simple. Um, just requires the uh, the press. You can see that uh, there's the gap there. And again, it's just clamped onto the piece of channel iron. And then I used another block of that square tube between the press and the channel iron underneath so that all the forces go directly into the center of the channel. That makes, gives space as well for the clamps um, by having that extra piece of material underneath and inside there. Again, just a fairly simple way to do it. It's all temporary. Now that I'm done with the project, I can just take it back apart and I've got all those pieces and I don't need to ever worry about it.